Yo, what up, street gods? Eric Kim. All right, uh, some turbo thoughts. So this one is uh, <laughs> how to win at suburban living. So uh, one thing that's been very interesting to me is you know different modes of living, different lifestyles, whatever. And it seems like an optimal strategy is to try to seek to extract the maximum out of whatever life given situation or scenario that you got um and then rather than seeking and desiring something that you don't got is better to just uh, milk what you do got right so for example like uh, <laughs> being here and look no sidewalks right um so the funny thing is uh A lot of people, when it comes to, you know, matters of, uh, like living in, you know, Orange County, Southern California suburbs, whatever. Um, so some thoughts, one, Costco is awesome. Two, Costco Business Center is the one where you get all your beef ribs. Best place to get beef ribs, just buy the beef ribs. Just, I could just like survive off beef ribs and kimchi. Oh, also the pro tip, you go to Costco Business Center, get the kimchi at the Costco Business Center because they do not make it with sugar. It's like these cre sneaky Korean, Korean Americans like putting sugar into everything. Also the thing that's really bad is you go to a Korean restaurant, right? They put sugar in everything or high fructose corn syrup, even the banchan, the, the side dishes, right? so sneaky put put sugar in everything like even i was like so naive like when i was a kid oh, i had no idea as a kid i love kaibi which is the the uh, beef short ribs and i had no idea that the marinade was all just like sugar or high fructose corn syrup or even eating mirchi the the anchovies yeah high fructose corn syrup or corn syrup but, like i had no idea so you know and also you're you're all eating white rice white rice is essentially candy it's like little fluffy white sugar <laughs> clouds um that was a random thing it's like how is it that we fat and why do we get fat my theory is like carbs starches vegetables starchy vegetables honestly like all vegetables i think are bad the only non-bad vegetables are like the dark leafy greens um you know kale collard greens etc um and uh, the reason I like to eat kimchi is fermented stuff is just it just helps my digestion um, and also no dairy no cream no sugar uh, no fake sugar no stevia no monk fruit no uh, fake milk milk almond milk coconut milk uh, what else you got hemp milk the Soy milk, what's the other new? Milk. Oh, uh, oat milk, don't drink the oatly. No oatly, just drink a black, just black, black on black, some blacks, mid back, some back, some backs, right? No cream, no sugar, just straight black. Just espresso machine at the house, pull yourself a spro, down the spros, and just kind of go and do your thing, right? Um, even just getting like matcha powder, just hot water just done that i've actually um i stopped drinking uh cacao powder because i've actually noticed it's actually sweet even if you don't add sugar, <laughs> sugar to it just it's just naturally too sweet i don't i don't like it um uh i'm just like okay just try this right just go on a pure carnivore diet the air kim diet the, um just beef ribs beef brisket beef heart beef liver Small intestines, the gopchang at the Aoki Korean barbecue place. I went to this place last night. Had the, unfortunately they're marinated, but uh, fuck it, I just still got it anyways. The liver, the heart, small intestines. It's like actually my favorite. It's uh, my theory is that it's like a steroid. Even bodybuilders back in the day used to eat lots of liver. Um, the the liver, the organ meats actually have the highest amounts of uh, cholesterol, cholesterol, sterol, steroid. Um, and it comes from animal products, right? People, like, we've been so brainwashed to think that cholesterol is bad for you. 
We just like, we got the good LDL, HDL, LDL, da, 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 and then in the future they're gonna find like another BDL, RDL, SDL, LDL, um, EDL. Uh, so I mean, it's my personal theory, just, you know, also intermittent fasting, right? No breakfast, no lunch, just one massive dinner a day. Um, but even me, like I'm getting monster gains at the gym. I haven't eaten breakfast or lunch or eaten nothing before lifting in like seven years. And I've been able to rack full six plates and 25 inch, it was 635 pounds. Even while I was doing trap bar deadlift, 551 pounds. And you know, I'm not on the juice, not on the gummy bears. I don't even take protein powder, right? Or creatine or none of that. Or pre-workout, that's that's like the newest, biggest scam. Just, just drink black coffee, right? Um, Cause a lot of these pre-workouts, they add Sucarlos and fake sugar sweetener things to it. And I think uh, it, um, I think it just probably just makes you fat because it's anything sweet will make you fat, even if it has zero calories or not. Um, and uh, oh, some other turbo thoughts I had too. It's like, maybe the power is all also actually in our legs. That anything that you do with your legs is good. And maybe all this upper body stuff is so overrated. Uh, Cause like, think, can you, what can you do more? Can you bench more or can you squat or deadlift more? Certainly you could deadlift or squat at least twice what you could bench. So then it's like, why do a bench in the first place? Oh, to get huge pecs and shoulders and triceps and you compete. But then like, it's actually interesting. If you look at uh, kind of ancient physics, like the Hercules, uh, Farnese uh, Hercules, his uh, pectoral muscles are actually relatively like small and underdeveloped. And even the deltoid muscles don't look that big. Actually, but if you look at his back, it, the back is insane and the traps, right? Traps. And also his legs, his glutes, his thighs, his butt, whatever, are insanely massive. So maybe even as like a dog smear, I'm like, I'm not gonna do no more upper body exercises. And just see what happens. Just really, really heavy. Every day is like day, right? <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, my theory is like, if you get really, really strong at the rack pull and really, really strong at the squat walk or micro squats or whatever, certainly your upper body is gonna have to adapt and get stronger too. So anyways, it'll just be a, a fun experiment. Uh, Cause I'm starting to realize that it's all about leverages that any kind of exercise or activity that you do on a bench, a flat bench, whatever, the leverages are really poor. It's better to either A, do it off the floor or B, just do it standing up. Um, and I've actually found that I don't like doing exercises where I'm lying on my back. It just is kind of uninteresting or I don't like it. So maybe just as a thought experiment too, it's like how can we just do exercises in which you don't require to lie on your back. So I don't know, maybe weighted chin-ups, weighted dips, something like that. I don't know, I'll figure it out. Don't worry guys, I'll figure this out for us. Um, and yeah, so that was a, a turbo thought I had. Another thought I had too was um, regarding, maybe it's a good idea to think about uncertainty and happiness. I think, an uncertain life is actually a more happy life. Uh, a life with 100% precision and foresight, I think is actually a quite boring life. And it's it's funny because everyone wants to stamp out uncertainty, randomness, and disorder and chaos from their lives. But my thought is actually chaos stimulates us. Chaos is better. The, um, the better idea is how to harness the dragon, the monster, which is chaos, and use that fire into our advantage. Same thing that goes with anger and all the quote quote vices is, you know, one of Nietzsche's theories and philosophies is that a vice is simply something we haven't figured out how to turn into virtue yet. Uh, even La Rochefoucauld, the French moralist philosopher, aphorist, um, said, Vices for men who have just become too weak to enjoy them as virtues or something like that. So, all of the vices could be virtues, all the virtues could be vices, and uh, so forth. What just matters is situation, interpretation, etc. Um, like, you know, pride, vanity, ego. Most religions, most uh, schools of moral thought 
see them as evil and base. Just like you haven't figured out how to leverage it to your advantage yet, right? Because like, like ego, for example, right? Ego could be bad if you're in a situation where, you know, you don't want to lose face and therefore you gamble away your life savings or your house to do something stupid. I mean, that's that's foolish. That's unwise, right? Um, but what we have to get rid of is this notion of sin. There's no such thing as sin. Uh, replace it with foolishness. Like even in ancient Greek times, the notion of sin didn't exist. This is kind of more of this modern Judeo-Christian uh, notion, which also does percolate into American Protestant thinking. Even if you're not religious in America, you are still low-key controlled by Protestant ethics, right? Like we call somebody selfish, right? You're essentially calling somebody evil, but then if you're not religious, does evil even matter? No, it's 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 uh, it's not really a concept. Um, that's a thought. Um, also, the another thought I had was uh, the mind is very sensitive, and be very very careful what you ingest or what you read or what you hear or accidentally overhear. Like I was at the gym the other day, just talking to some dudes and da, 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 talking to my best friend Kanye West. Like, yeah, do you hear this court going crazy? Da, da, da. He says something like, he says something like, I like Hitler or something. I was like, what? Like, and then that kind of, and then that takes you on a down a, a weird rabbit hole of thinking he's like oh it's like what oh what did he mean by that da, da, da. and then like you know some people what they might have done is google it and then go down that crazy rabbit hole um i say resist when you're tempted to figure out the hottest new gossip or whatever just resist refuse to google nothing if and even even in fact actually i think google like everyone nobody thinks google is evil 